The SafeBridge platform is a unique tool to enable security teams with the ability to assess their security posture and security control effectiveness against worldwide threats. When testing your security stack and modeling threats, web application testing should be top of mind given it is the second largest infiltration method used by attackers. This is why SafeBridge is introducing the web application module. To safely and in a controllable manner, test your controls and readiness against attacks targeting your organization's publicly exposed applications. Simply configure the web application that you would like to test against. Note that the web application module is agentless by design, meaning no installation or deployment is required. Usually this web application will sit behind your organizational web control. Configure the root URL of the web application you want to test. After that, you can also define the target URLs to execute attacks against during the simulations. Finally, configure the block criteria to prevent false block results. After configuring the web application integration, the integration will be represented in the platform as a virtual node. For example, taking a look at the web app demo integration, navigating to the grid management, we can see that we have a virtual node, the web app demo here, residing in the platform with all of the other simulators that you have installed. This web app demo node can then be used in specific web application attacks. For example, when selecting a web application attack like SQL injection, where the target platform needs to be a web application, we will see that the previously configured web application is now available to us for selection. Now, let's go over some of the different plans that can help us assess and validate our web applications. We can assess our web application security from a few perspectives, some of them even targeting different security personas. For example, the sanity test will enable the blue team to continuously validate their readiness against major application risks and CVEs. In this plan, we showcase the ability to test our web application firewall against representative attacks of major core rule set families and CVEs continuously to maintain optimal web application firewall performance. Let's take a look at the second use case. Another avenue of web application testing would be assessing a specific threat against the organizational outward facing application attack surfaces. Threat hunting and red teams can leverage this to quickly automate and effectively scale testing against large numbers of applications. Let's take a look at this Lazarus full kill chain example. Let's see how the web application module helps shed visibility, evaluate our risk, and find security gaps against a worldwide famous threat actor. This plan is just one example of many that can be created to model and simulate a full kill chain attack by the Lazarus threat group. The initial access step, testing against known application attacks associated with this threat group is now available thanks to the new application module, providing you with the means to view the web application security attack surface in the context of the full attacker kill chain and the threat perspective. Therefore, understanding how choke points in the web application security impact the ability of an attacker to achieve their goals throughout the kill chain. Let's see how this can be achieved by analyzing a test summary of the Lazarus full kill chain example plan. Going to the home page, we see we already have an executed instance of the plan we showcased. Inside the test summary, we can see the four nodes that were participating in the test, the web app demo, which is the web application integration shown earlier, acting as the web application, which we are trying to, as the threat actor, infiltrate via, the external attacker representing an external adversary trying to infiltrate the organization, and two internal servers that we are trying to establish an initial foothold upon. Correlations from some endpoint controllers like CrowdStrike Falcon, FortiGate acting as the IPS, and we also see some visibility logs from Azure Front Door where our application is being hosted and also running the native Azure WAF. From here, we can continue to further analyze via the CTAs on the top. I'm going to select the dashboard CTA and continue to the threat assessment built-in dashboard to further analyze this threat against our organization. 
Now that we are in the dashboards, we can visually analyze and find security gaps to better understand our risk against the Lazarus threat that we've created. We can now analyze attack phases, MITRE tactics and techniques, our security control product statuses, and target simulators to better understand how an adversary can achieve his goals throughout the kill chain. Looking at the infiltration phase, we'll be able to see which application attacks can supposedly allow the attacker with those initial foothold in the organization. We can see that there are many missed and logged simulations throughout the kill chain, which means that potentially this attacker could achieve his goals. Let's focus on some of the missed simulations and we can see that we have many host level attacks that have been missed by our security controls and have been successfully executed by the attacker. Let's extend this list with also locked events which are also block, not blocked simulations that are, were also visible by our security control. Now that we have an aggregation of all of the not blocked simulations, we can see that throughout the kill chain host level attacks and infiltration attacks have been successfully executed. These actions could not come to fruition without an initial access. Let's take a look at the infiltration simulations that have been successful and try to identify the gaps in our application defenses. Here we also see the infiltration attacks after an initial access. So let's filter this to the application attacks. We, we could do that by using the security control category filter and filter to application attacks a list of all the not block simulations from the application security control category. We can remove the filter to get a better understanding of all of the application attacks that were executed against the application that we've configured earlier to see where we need to improve and where we're actually performing well. Here, for example, we now see some non-successful simulations and even simulations that were blocked by a security control and successfully cor correlated in the platform. Going back the previous view, we can now try to identify the security gaps and hopefully mitigate them going forward by applying security control fixes, which can be identified and found via the security events tab. For example, in this simulation result, we see um, a WAP event that has logged but not prevented this simulation. Overall, we have shown how the web application attacks and rich threat assessment efforts and extend our platform's capability to help test your web applications and validate web application controls in the scope of a full kill chain.